what's up everybody, my name is Trufinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. The new From Software game is finally here. It's not really a direct sequel to anything that they've made before. It's probably gonna contain a lot of their, uh, well, their hall hallmarks. But uh, yeah, we'll see what this brings. I'm really pumped to get started. Uh, I have tried to avoid spoilers of any kind, so this is a completely blind playthrough. But as usual, we'll be going through this in very, very much detail. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please let me know how you came to get here. And uh, without further ado, let's just head right in. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. Oh, cool, that was brutal. Wow. Well, that's a start. But I don't think that's us. General Master Swordsman Ishin Ashina staged a bloody coup and wrested control of the land. So wait, the land is also called Ashina? Okay. That looks like a very awesome ponytail. Ow! Jesus, buddy! What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, starving wolf? That's a sharp blade. On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a master shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the shinobi code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some twenty years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Okay. So we're playing as the wolf. And we lost the one we needed to protect, but we didn't see who that actually was. Or well, maybe that will change in a minute. So interesting start, quick setup. Didn't take too long to get here. The Ashina clan took control. We were uh well an orphan on the battlefield. Of your master. And we got taken in by a big dude with a massive sword who just cut open our face first. Of which we still have the scar right now, but. Seems like something happened in between there.
is that why does he have like a frostbite mark on his face? Okay. Do I have control now? Okay, there we go. So, contrary to other from software games, it doesn't seem like we can actually create a character. This is all about the wolf himself. And let's pick up the items. Ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay, vigi stay silent and stay vigilant. Okay, so we don't have any weapons yet. Don't know what any of the buttons do. I can't actually use any of the buttons just yet. Can I actually go behind me? Can he swim? I I'm not going to risk that. <laughs> I'm going to see later on if we can swim because I want to die right at the start. Jump! Oh my god, we can jump in a From Software game. Well, jump, jump more than... Jump in air near wall. Ooh, Nelly. We actually have some maneuverability here. Okay. Ashina Reservoir. I'm gonna try to pronounce everything correctly, because of course I'm not used to the language. And I'm gonna do my utmost best to pronounce everything correctly. If I do pronounce anything incorrectly, please let me know. And I'll try to correct that in the future. Trying to get to every nook and cranny here. This is awesome. Do I have... Okay, that's... That's stealth. So there is sneaking. Obviously. It seems to be locked off. And we have this massive fort. That looks great. And that looks like a typical... Yeah. Ooh, we need to do that ourselves. Of course. Still a film software game. Okay, so there seems to be an enemy over there. So stealth. Advance without being seen by crouching and bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed. He has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. Okay, so they're talking about me. It's weird, if you get the camera close enough, the bushes actually disappear. I was confused for a second. Then let's head over here. And it seems like I'm at very low health. So that's probably why there's red all over the place. Eavesdrop. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. Lord Genichiro. Fair enough. Can I actually do that multiple times or not? The moonlight shines strongly on Yeah, okay. So there's a there's actually a check mark to see if I've eavesdropped or, or not. So that is cool. Let's go in here. So that's probably the Moonview Tower. And there's something over there. Probably another eavesdrop opportunity. Do we need to drop down here? Oh god. Ah, there we go. There was a prompt. There's the a prompt. The tower door. You can check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but... <laughs> Nobody fixed that hole in the wall. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. Okay, so there's a hole near the edge of the cliff. So let's hang from this cliff. There we go. Because I feel like we can easily drop off. This is not like Tomb Raider or anything. If you go near an edge, you can probably just drop off if you want to. Um, climb up with the same... Ooh, with square, not with axe. That is interesting. There we go. We can jump and hold on to the ledge as well. And then there's the hole in the wall. Ah, I can jump up with X as well. Never mind. Never mind, I take that back. There we go. Climb up. Doesn't seem to be any items over here. Aha! And there's the child they were talking about. So, let's climb in. 
So is the child the one we're supposed to be protecting? <gasps> it might be. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? I'm wondering if he already has the prosthetic arm or not. Raise your head. Because of course from the cover of the game that's not really a spoiler. You can see that he's lost Kusabimaru. one your arm. Kusabimaru. My shinobi. There we go. In accordance with the bond of Lord and Retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. There we go. He does seem to have all his fingers, so... Kusabi Maru, a katana given by Kuro the Divine Heir, an heirloom of the Hirata family. A cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusab Kusabi Maru beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra the blade itself may manifest. Okay. I'm actually wondering if there's more in the menus itself. We have a homeward idol, a small palm-sized wooden Buddha. Can be used repeatedly, held by the wolf ever since he was saved by his father. Its corners are rounded with use. This Buddha is used to return home. It will return the user to the last visited sculptor's idol or the dilapidated temple. Then the sword. Yeah, okay, so there's... That's cool that when you pick something up, you get the entire description already. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Sword received, which means we can start killing, probably. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him in a minute. I'm supposing it's a him since he called him Lord. Aha, there's items up here. Palette. Medicinal palette that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battle since time lost uh, time long ago and lent to the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these palettes could also serve as a battle charm. Do I get to equip that somehow, or... Ah, okay. Pallets. So if I equip that... I can probably, yeah, so now they're in my equip bar. Not really sure how to use them just yet, but... Okay, just racking the place a bit. Let's go down through all the books, and let's talk to our lord again. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. The healing gourd. A gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine. Re resting refills the gourd. Made by an apprentice of the extraordinary Dr. Dogen. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. So that's the acid flask. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Okay, so that's up to us now. You can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you are taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. So up is use the quick item, left and right is cycle through items. So if I go to... Oh, I haven't equipped it yet. So there we go, healing gourd and then take a sip. Okay, that's half my health. So let's just open this up. Nobody heard that? Okay. Posture and dead blows. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi dead blow. R1 and R1 again 
after breaking posture to kill him outright. Does he know where I am? Doesn't seem like he knows where I am. So that guy's down. Oh, how do I... How do I dodge and everything? Circle is dodging. Okay. That's blocking. Ah, there we go. So if I've hit him enough, his posture will break and I can do a death blow. Okay, fair enough. Did take one hit and it appears like the difficulty is still up there because that pretty much took uh, a quarter of my health down. Guessing we'll get new moves in a second. Yeah, he saw me, okay. Deflection, there we go. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage your posture. A Master Shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to achieve swift victory. The moment an attack lands, press L1 to deflect. Okay. There we go. And we deflected that perfectly. So that is interesting. So the deflecting is the same as blocking, but just at the right time. So they kind of took the same system as in God of War. So there's two of them over there, but I should be able to... I don't want to fight two of them at once. Lock on. By locking onto your target and keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. So the, the biggest difference for now is, well, aside from the fact that we don't make our own character and we don't seem to have armor or anything, uh, is that we don't get messages, online messages. Just gonna go up here first. Can I actually slash? Yeah, I can. Slash through that. Don't know why, but we can. And then go up here. What is here? Oh, bo 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 bo. Okay, okay, okay. So if I go up here and then underneath the floorboards. So this is the same area where I was before. I can't actually climb up. Yeah. I go over, oh, like here. And then I can probably sneak up behind this guy and take him out. Okay. So that's also a very big difference. I do get out of stealth once I killed somebody like that, but no biggie. Can't open this stuff up. So might as well go to the door now. Question is, can I somehow get on... Ooh. Just gonna go into stealth a bit further. Can I actually drop down, kill one of these? Doesn't seem like I can. There we go. Killed the first one like this. Oh god. There's multiple guys here. Okay. And there we go. That's one. And there we go. These guys. So I need to be... So the first guy I just killed, I could, not, I could only kill with the deflect like I did just now. But the other guys I can actually attack. It depends on how much they're blocking apparently. That actually worked that great. I got to kill the first guy with a stealth attack. But there doesn't seem to be an aerial drop down attack just yet. I probably need to unlock that later on. Um, just gonna stick to the sides here for now. Well this seems to be something I could walk across. I'm not going to. I can actually hang from this ledge. But again, no uses just yet I think. Could have probably bypassed all those enemies as well, but by just jumping across. Oh god. That is a counter slash. A counter slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. So deflect and then slash immediately. Okay, this seems to be... What's he doing? So I need to be careful with dodging because my posture meter is going up. Come on, buddy. Oh, 
And there we go. Down he goes. That blow against stronger enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Okay. There we go. And there we go. That is a cool system. Although I feel that that's not going to be the end of it. So we got more medicinal pallets. Thank you for that. I could technically use that to heal up. But I don't know how many of those I'm going to get. So for now it seems I could at least survive one more hit. So there goes the leader. So I'm guessing that's going to be everything. Otherwise he would have been ambushed by the other guys before. There is an item over here. So let's grab that. Fistful of Ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashi now the snow falls thick and thus the heart runs thick with Ash. So that's a Dark Souls reference. Ash. So can he drop another conversation the here? The moat, under the bridge, we just got orders to guard it. Mm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Okay. So eavesdrop those guys. There seems to be something. What the hell is that? Who are you? Are you an enemy? I can target him. There we go. That that guy looks... What the hell? That looks horrifying. Um, creepy baby. Creepy baby. Could drop down over there. But does that actually go somewhere? Just gonna check the other side first. Don't know if there's fall damage of any kind either. More pallets, thank you. So we do get the description every time. So what is this? This seems like a statue of some kind. This appears to be the escape route. Call the divine air with the reed whistle. Mm. So that's the, the hidden route we needed to take. I just wanna check out if there's anything I've missed. Can I go down here? I can. Okay, lizards. Creepy lizards. Don't get any items from enemies either. And doesn't seem to be any indication of souls or anything like that. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. I could have killed those guys on the bridge. I'm not sure if I'm too far gone right now. Because I came from pretty high up. Okay, we'll see. We probably will be able to return here if I want to. So, there we go. There we go. There's the divine heir. We don't know why he's the divine heir. Wolf, Seems like a simple kid for now. It. The lip syncing is of course matched now, to the Japanese dialogue. Which I mean I want to understand what they're saying. So that's why it's in English. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. Uh, can we talk to you again? Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. So we actually have a character that talks back. Which is interesting. Just gonna keep stealthy. Although... Is there a run button even? Although there seems to be areas where I can't actually do anything because I can't attack, I can't... Oh, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't look too good. This looks like a battlefield. With lovely flag. Kind of looks like uh, German's battlefield at the end of Bloodborne. There's also a lot of cutscenes for a uh, From Software game. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, yeah. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. So that's the Ashina dude, right? Kenichiro. Kenichiro. 
Never mind. It looks like the guy that killed the general before. At the beginning, but of course he should be a lot older then. Thank you. Yeah, I think we know how, how this will end. Do we actually get the fight? Oh, this is gonna hurt. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. Yes, he does. Wolfy man is in your way. And a typical from software fashion. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ow. Ow. Um, there goes my arm. That that didn't take very long. I couldn't deflect anything. Which is probably the purpose, because we need to lose our arm. He has a sharp sword. Oh, he did the cool thing and just tossed the blood of his is that sword. All the shinobi has to offer? Apparently it is. The divine heir will be coming with me. Yeah, I'm probably just bleeding out right now, so... That's fine. Oh. Who the hell are you? Creepy bird woman. Oh, and she was hidden there all along because she kind of looks like the... The flowers? The plants? Okay. We're still alive, obviously. What is that on top of us? It looks looks like crap. Probably a blanket of some sort, yeah. Let's say that's not the best rendered blanket I've ever seen. Seems to be holding himself up with some kind of arm, so it's already equipped. What is this? Let's all ask how that works. Because he can actually move it around, clearly. It makes so a creepy noise. Awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. So and this guy seems to be a wood carver, which makes kind of sense. Because our arm seems to be Shinobi Prosthetic. There we go, got a trophy for that as well. The trophies actually look like from software trophies, to be honest. The artificial arm of a Shinobi passed down by the sculptor. There we go, sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms, apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and a stain thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. Which means that it has probably been used by somebody else before. It's our left arm. And for some reason we still have a big vertical smudge in our face. Uh, what's this? You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger. Sadness. Or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Old memories of times long gone. That's going to be interesting. Because, of course, we've heard from the, the air already that something happened before. Let's see. Let's talk to the man. What do you call yourself? Uh, wolf? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me that is not your concern <laughs> spoken like a true shinobi i must carve the buddha you do what you will hmm okay dialogue options why am i here all i did was drag you here didn't even know if i was dragging a corpse couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs how long was i asleep <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. 
I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. Okay. So the bloodline. The heir talked about that himself as well, but because he was running away from it. Those sculptures are really, really freaking me out. But ask about your new left arm. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then, you'll come to appreciate its worth. We probably will. I said too much. Go now. So we can add attachments to the arm, which is cool. So that's probably some kind of leveling up system then. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name. And that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. Str strange things happening to my body? You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. He looks creepy. The creepy old man. Can't get him to focus really well. He seems to be very, very hairy for some reason. So, the bloodline is important. So the heir is the last of that bloodline. And they want to use... His bloodline for some reason. Just gonna run around this place a bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. I love that I can jump. Light coin purse. A purse filled with a small amount of sen. It can be used to acquire the sen inside. Has a somewhat satisfying weight to it. Sen in this purse is not lost upon death. Okay, so we do have a currency. That's interesting to know. Then we have another item. More pallets. And this thing. Communicate with the sculptor's idol. So this is made by the sculptor as well. Serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Resurrection? Oh right, yeah, shadows die twice. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems and storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies. So basically, bonfires. So if I rest, I get that fancy effect. And so 0 out of 4 prayer beads, 0 out of 1 memories. So we can use that at that golden statue probably. 10 vitality and 1 attack power. Okay, doesn't seem like there's... So the currency is the gold, the sen. And no souls of any kind, so just gold. Fair enough. Seems to be two pots. We can go in the clearing to the right. That's what the sculptor said. So let's have a little chat here. So this is... No, a friend. Okay, friend. Hello. Mm. Never seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Mm. Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, oh. There we go. And I killed them. The okay. Oh. That was weird. Still alive. I stabbed him in the neck and he's still alive. Okay. That, that was weird. That swordsmanship. 
It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? Uh, but well, saps. Well. Right then. Let's go. They say swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Okay, let's talk to him first. Han Bei the Undying. Have you noticed? This temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. Hmm. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. So that's train with him? Attacks. In that case, I stand as your opponent. About our training. I think it's about time we tried something closer to a real fight. Don't you? Come Ooh. at me with the intent to kill. No better way to prepare for the real thing. Hmm. Okay. What's wrong? Why do you go to such lengths? Half to pass the time. And the other half. Well, I want to loosen that furrowed brow of yours. All right. Enough talk. Let's begin. So I got the basics to attacking and deflecting again. And then I got a bit about evasion tactics. So let's now, do free combat. Let's begin. Let's yes. see what happens there. So now practice what you learned so far. Oh, I needed to dodge that. Yeah, okay. That's a dodge. And there we go. That should be Face done with. Again. Okay. And that blow. Face me again. It's usually three times. I know. Okay. There we go. Free combat completed. This temple attracts this. Okay. So the talk didn't Come change. Whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal. Well. Thank you, Hanbei. Let's check this offering box. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the box is illuminated, it means an item has found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. The box is currently empty. Okay. So good to know. Probably if an enemy falls off or something like that, we can actually get the item he would drop or she would drop in that box. Okay. So training done, it's high time we get into the real world, I would say. Which is probably through this gate. Here we go. The grappling hook. The Shinobi prosthetics grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When the symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. Okay. Grappling hook. So the bridge is out of commission. So we need to actually use... Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. And there we go. Grapple on and look at this. Is that where we actually came from? Must be. I'm just going to check up here first. Ashina outskirts. So this is still Ashina. And that is out of my reach. <gasps> okay. Almost, that was a very womanly gasp, but there we go. And we have another sculptor's idol. Sculptor's idol found. You can now instantly travel between sculptor's idols that have already been communed with. Fair enough. Moving on. And there's an item right above the sculptor's idol. Ungo's sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpu Temple, sustaining Ungo's blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. 
Light the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man within, from the spirits within. Senpao monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of their military heroes. Okay. Could probably use it. And uh, by the way, I also think... Okay. Seems to be an enemy over there. That I can pause the game completely now, right? If I check the snow... Yeah, okay. It really, really pauses the game since there's no online element in this. So, there's a guy standing over there. But I should probably be able to... Nah, fuck it. There we go. And there we go. Okay, okay. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from distances away. Items found in the world are different than loot and that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold to acquire loot and press near world item. Okay, so if I just do this... That automatically goes to me. Ceramic shard, a piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Throw it at an enemy to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing such pieces made for a popular sport amongst Ashina boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games well. So I can probably... That sounds like an interesting item to actually have. So there we go. Distraction item. Um, I feel like I'm going to be missing a lot here. So first, I see an item down there, so let's just grab that. Oh god, hi. And there we go. Need to be careful, because I think some of these guys I actually need to jump or dodge from instead of just deflecting all the time. And... wait, where's that item? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Another ceramic shard, okay. And then there's one over here as well. More pallets. Man, that grappling hook is satisfying to use. Just get on top of the building. And see what else we have. Seems like there's an enemy. There's two over there, but there's one over here. I'm sad that I can't really do anything about just jumping on top of enemies. But there we go. Let's just grab all that. There is a bar filling up on the top right. I'm wondering what that's supposed to be. And I could probably, if I go into stealth and then drop down. Stab this guy in the back. And that is apparently silence. So going back into stealth and then going to this guy. Allows me to just take them all out. Okay, and this is probably the route. Yeah, I came from there. Luckily I didn't just cross the... Cross the corner there, because that would have been bad. Drop down. I murdered this guy. They do seem to be pretty much blind. There we go. Something else saw me. Fistful of ash. Just gonna drop down here. Oh, yeah. I go out of stealth really easily sometimes. Jesus! There we go. Okay. So that's how easy things can go wrong. I didn't see a single thing in this grass. <laughs> couldn't see what he was doing. Couldn't see what I was doing. There we go, more sugar. And I lost half my health by doing so. So yeah, don't forget, this game is still hard. Need to be careful. So let's just take a sip of that and pretty much fill it all the way back up. Did I get the loot from all of these guys? No. More pallets. Maybe I should start using pallets as well because I'm getting quite a few of these. That's a wolf. That's definitely a wolf. I'm not sure how to deal with wolves just yet. Oh, did that wolf just die in one hit? They do a lot of damage, but wow, that was a lot of damage actually. But uh, they can die in one hit. Don't seem doesn't seem like wolves actually have posture. More ceramic shards. Hmm. There seems to be another idol up here. But do I want to interact with that? It does resurrect all the enemies again. Is that 
A giant chicken? What the fuck? That is a... Why is there a giant chicken? Well, that doesn't make sense. The ch okay. We live in a world with giant chickens. Would make one hell of a meal, though. Would like some roasted giant chicken. Oh god, that might have not been a good idea. Just jumped inside of this building here. That... wait. That's the guy that kidnapped the air, right? So the bird guy. Shuriken wheel, a mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen, can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm size, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel, as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with the shinobi's talents. Okay. So we need to get that back to the sculptor, yeah. Shinobi tools for the shinobi sculptor. So let's head over here. No. On top. Up top. Up top. God damn it. Need to grapple to the tree for that. And let's just commune with this thing. And we'll head back towards the sculptor. So if I just rest. I actually deposit my money as well if, I, if I'm correct. I think we do. Then let's travel to important places. Ah, that's a shortcut to the dilapidated temple. So. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices, means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Interesting. So, because we know the prosthetic was used by somebody else before. We just don't know who. It might be him himself. Fit new the prosthetic tool. Can be specially adapted. And then we can add the loaded shuriken. Pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in a single flowing motion. The swiftly thrown shuriken damages enemy vitality and posture. Particularly against those with a tendency to take to the air. That's an interesting detail. There we go. Ghost spirit emblems to use. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there. Don't do anything funny with it. That was a weird thing to say. So R2 use a prosthetic tool and switch prosthetic tool with triangle. Fair enough. So, but I don't have anything equipped right now. Aha, there we go. There's a restriction. There are three slots available to equip and switch out prosthetic tools as needed. So let's just equip the loaded shuriken. One spirit emblem costs. And okay, so the blue bar is up to our next skill point. Interesting as well. And where do I see spirit emblem? So is that a 15 there? Ah, yeah. So I probably can't use it now. Okay. Uh oh, okay, who are you? Hello? Spirit emblems. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptors' idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. And who are you? You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess 
That was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. Interesting, because the, the gourd itself talks about the Dr. Dogen and not Emma. You made this gourd. Yes, it was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Okay, so gourd seeds, that is. I haven't found any of those yet, so let's talk to her again. I'd like to make a request. Uh huh. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark. Is it a birthmark? No. Then. That must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps. It's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. The dragon's heritage and the mark might be a symptom. Symptom of what? That doesn't sound good. So. She's not sur sure whether it's a symptom or not. A symptom for what? Okay, let's commune with the sculptor's idol and move forward. So, we're back. It doesn't seem like... Oh, never mind. Take that back. The wolves are back. So I've been inside of the building. So I might as well just try and just go over the building now. And ignore the chicken. And let's take this area here first. The wolves can get to me. I know there's a yellow mark on my screen right now. But I don't think the wolves are able to actually get to me. Can I get higher? No. Okay. There's a big dude over there. And I'm wondering if the wolves are going to stay there. Because if the wolves are not going to stay there, might actually be in trouble a bit. So there's a dude over there as well. But I think this gate is closed, right? And I don't see any enemies for now. So might as well... Drop down and slowly oh god there we go perilous attack some enemies are unguardable use unguardable perilous attacks signified with a danger symbol when these occur carefully watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a specific response l1 has trust lands deflects x before sweep lands jump and a grab we need to dodge okay so we did take out one of his bars That's a sweep. That's a sweep. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, what is he doing? That doesn't look good. He restored his posture. Woo! Oh, I needed to jump. I needed to jump. Um, um. Oh, that's the healing gourd. There we go. Okay. Woo! Oh, that took a lot off. Okay. I oh, deflected that, but... Oh, I died. To stay down after being knocked to the ground surely means death. A safety roll can be used to quickly recover. I need to use another item. Woo! I need to do. Yeah, I need to stop that! Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. There we go. In the face. Woo! A loot sprayer bead offering four of them at a sculptor's idol will decrease maximum vitality and posture. Oh, that was a fight. Gourd Seed, gift to Emma to increase the maximum uses of the healing gourd. A twisted gourd of medicinal waters was known throughout Ashina since long ago, but it was the extraordinary healer Dogen and his pupil Emma who discovered the self replenishing nature of this seed. So I wonder why Emma is so reluctant to give out the identity of her master, since, you know, we, we've known from the beginning that Dogen made the gourd. Wow, that was a fight that got my blood pumping. But we did get through it, without dying. Without even fake dying, I think. Okay, so let's get back to Emma and give her that, because I don't want to risk dying now. I think I probably even need to go through the high ground. Just to avoid getting mauled by those wolves. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Hello, Emma. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. So that means we can use it twice? Strange or did we get more uses? Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. There we have a name. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. Okay. I still don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. I mean, I haven't died yet. So an interesting thing I just saw on the loading screen, if you hold guard, you actually receive your posture back quicker, which is Kind of the opposite of what we've learned from Dark Souls. Because there, if you hold up your shield, you actually regain your stamina slower. I'm guessing the big guy is gone now. The big chicken isn't. That is still a weird creature. Big chicken. So there weren't any enemies over here, if I recall correctly. And I don't think I can actually... No. So no enemies here. No wolves either. So the wolves are contained to that area, so we can actually move on. Do we need to open up this gate? Do not. Can we actually open up gates? No, we can't. So that's just... <laughs> you need to actually jump over every gate you want to. That also means we can probably skip through a lot of enemies. Interestingly enough. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Did I actually reach? No. 152 points for the next skill point. And I probably lose all of that as well when I die. So there's one up there. I do want to take out that guy first. Ooh, eavesdrop. This battle, do you think it can be won? I fear we may not prevail. What? We'll be just fine. Look, Ishin may be sick, but he's still going strong. Genichiro is a terror with the bow. And of course, we have Gyobu the demon. Ah, Gyobu, of course. Good point. As long as he's with us, no man could ever breach the Ashina Castle Gate. Giyobu the demon, but Gernichero Ishin is sick. So Gernichero is the guy that chopped off his our arm. But Ishin is the guy that defeated the general in the beginning cinematic. This is probably a bad idea. I still can't seem to drop off anything. Um, but if I kill this first guy, I might be able to kill the other guy after that. So if I... There we go. Oh, I'm getting shot at. There we go. I did get shot at for some... Oh, that guy. There we go. So let them come up the stairs. Feels like this is a safer place to do things. Okay, yeah. They punish attacking relentlessly. There we go. There we go. I need to be careful because I'm still getting shot at and this barricade isn't going to hold much longer. Just want to get my bearings a little bit. Just going to get the healing boards. So that guy's still firing at me. So if, oh, okay, okay, good, that's great. Uh, 
And there we go. Block that all effectively. And get his coins off him. So he shot me. I think I... Yeah, running is that. There we go. And he missed me. And he goes down. And then there's one more enemy. Another rifleman. Might as well just... There we go. Do I grab... That was a lot of enemies. Do I grab another gourd? I think I should, right? Yeah, it doesn't even refill me all the way. So that's fine. Oh! Oh, wow. Um, how do I deal with that? I guess we'll see. Can do that. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh. It's supposed to keep going down. Maybe if I... So he's gonna go mad again. He's gonna fire another Shurigan at him. There we go. Stab him in the face. Ooh. That was cool. Disemboweled. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. A Mibu Balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with a blessing of wealth. If one pops the golden Mibu Balloon and prays those its waters, those its waters, those its what? No, those waters will splash upon those its. Oh, God damn it, I can't read them here. Those its waters splashes upon will acquire more coin for a period of time. Mibu means aquatic life or life born of the water. The Ashina consider the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Interesting item. Probably something I will never dare to use. But it seems to be more of a... Uh, yeah, more of a, a, a farming item. So that was not a normal human. Seems like the demon they were talking about might actually be a literal demon. And there's not just dudes for us to fight. Why would I go over there? Wait, there seems to be a ledge down here. I saw that enemy up there. It doesn't also... S Ooh, there's a big chicken again. Oh, it kicked me off. I got killed by the big chicken. Loss upon death. Experience towards the next skill points and current sand in hand are halved upon death. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to escape this loss. However, through the grace of the gods of Buddha, it may not be impossible. Okay, I just got kicked off a ledge by a chicken. That was, yeah, not my finest moment there. God damn it, and now I need to kill everything again. So, probably don't go to the chickens this time. Chickens are bad. Chickens are the root of all evil in this game. Is he gonna see me when I do that? No. Oh. You're you're a person to talk to. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My son. Have you seen the young master? Uh, I'm I'm not your son. I am not your son. There you go again, Inosuke. You always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hmm. Well, anyway. Take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. Oh, is that one of those memories then? Young Lord's Bell Charm. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another bell's, another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Okay, 
Inosuke, my son! Have you offered the bell charm to Buddha? Have you tried the rundown temple with that stubborn sculptor in it? I'm sure you'll find Buddha there. Okay, thanks for the very obvious hint. Uh, and there seems to be a guy dying here as well. Sir? Uh, who is it? Is somebody there? Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami, a vassal of the Hirata family. Or at least I was. Oh, your I mother is. Favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. Yeah, I, I think we got it by now. <sighs> Sir, the man from before, right? I wanted to thank you for humoring my mother. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering. Okay. That bell has been troubling her for a long, long time. That is weird. That the bell actually has that kind of power over her. No, 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 no. Don't kill me, chicken. So there we go. I forgot that the shuriken actually does more against fatted foes. So, chicken down. Chicken down. Aha! Secrets! They think the chickens must have been protecting something. Litecoin purses. Somebody left their money underneath this house. Uh, I'm just gonna move a bit further. I'm hoping I find another shrine pretty soon. It seems to be... Ooh, that's a pretty tree. There's more and more areas to the sides as well. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for... A lot of these things. Cause, oh. This guy is looking at the wrong direction. So if I'm quick enough, I might be able to... Might be able to... Oh, that's a... That's whatever that is. That's a cannon. That's a cannon. Holy shit. There we go. Oh! No, that's a ceramic shard. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. So death, but not the, the normal death. Or, or, the, or is it? Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. Okay, there we go. Because this is the first time we actually died while not being off a cliff. So I can resurrect if I want to. So resurrection. One charge is always restored by resting at a sculptor's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it. But killing enemies will make it available again. There we go. I for some reason thought I couldn't deflect a cannon, but obviously I can. Black gunpowder. Material used in alchemical prosthetic tool upgrades, including those of an explosive and occultic nature. Even the most mundane form of gunpowder has a wide variety of applications. Okay. So now I see a circle above my health bar there. So I'm guessing that is actually the timer for me to resurrect again if I want to. Um, there's two more guys over there. I do want to kill at least one of them with a... a stealth attack. So there's two more guys. But I think this one is a bit more eager. There we go. Taken by his own. Hello. There we go. Just need to attack him to provoke an attack and just get the money before he drops down. Um. Okay. 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 So I'm guessing we need to be really close to sculptor's idol, right? Please. 
please. Although this seems to be circling around, because I think we actually came from over there. So if I'm going to be careful, I want to check out if there isn't uh, a shortcut over here somewhere, because it feels like... Like, what is this symbol supposed to be? Wait, what the hell is this? That's a, an enormous snakeskin. Okay. That was risky. That was way too risky. Don't know why I did that, but at least we got some items. Mebo Possession Balloon. If one pops this vibrant green Mebo Balloon and sprays those its water splashes upon, will have a higher chance of obtaining items. Okay. And then another one, and we get another charge for our weapons. So that is an attachment point. Oh, okay, so that's a, a pull attachment point. So I can actually use that. Scrap iron. Iron drags mined in Ashina. Why do you use for basic reinforcement? It can serve as a base material for protestic tool upgrades. Ashina is burdened with thick snow and infertile land, but the scrap iron dug from her soil is anything but crude. Okay. There seems to be a big snake around here. Oh, I can go up there. Ooh, I hate jumping in this game. Because I feel like I won't be safe in any capacity. What am I doing here? Oh, God. Okay. So I need to get back up. Don't know what I'm even... Oh, my God. Do I need to jump that? Oh, poop in the pants. Definitely poop in the pants. I'm gonna pull myself up here some sometime and I'm gonna just be staring at an enemy's face. Ooh. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good... Oh, oh, it does seem like a good idea. There we go. Sculptor's idol. Whew. And with that, I'm actually gonna rest first. I'm gonna check out my skill points. Skill points. Why do I actually do that, skill points? Um, enhanced physical attributes? No, I need four prayer, prayer beads for that. Maybe let's get back to the dilapidated temple. So let's talk. We can get that bell to the Buddha, but I'm gonna wait with that. I'm just gonna talk to... What is he doing? What? Hmm. That was a weird pose. Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Shinobi Esoteric Text. The book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by shinobi grants the ability to learn shinobi-style skills. Within this text are the innermost secrets of the shinobi arts such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. What is it? Shinobi techniques recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. Okay. Owning an esoteric, esoteric text of a combat style which will allow its skills to be acquired in the Sculptor's Idol skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can also be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Okay, let's check that out. Do I need to talk to him I then again? I can hear the ring ring of a bell chime. You mean... This old bell? An old woman asked me to offer it to Buddha. That bell? Have you seen it before? No. It is unfamiliar. It appears the bell disagrees. I think it's trying to tell you something. What? Give it as an offering. The kind-faced Buddha near the wall is different from the Buddhas I make. It was carved by the hand of the true sculptor. Okay. But we can't seem if to use skill points for that with fang him. of yours. You'll need to search for more shinobi tools. There's no turning back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. 
So the interesting thing about the way this game is set up is that we only lose progress towards the next skill point. So I think the skill points we have, we can actually keep. And I'm guessing that we can use skill points now at the idol now that we have the text. Yeah, there we go. Acquire skills. Okay, combat arts, shinobi material, mar material arts, martial arts and latent skills. I want to go on the defensive first. My attacks will not be as important for now. So I think I need that Mikiri counter first. Enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for sharp eyes of a shinobi. Circle the moment an enemy thrust attack lands is Mikiri counter. So it's dodging a thrust will allow us to counter that, but we need another skill point, which we almost have. So with that, we're gonna save up for that next ability for that Mikiri counter. So uh, with that, I'm gonna actually take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. This has been one hell of a first episode, but I'm definitely gonna continue this because of course, new from software game, it's amazing. I feel great with the combat. I only died once and it was because I got kicked off a ledge by a chicken. You take that with whatever you want. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And hope to see you in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye.